Okay, so today we're going to look at how to factor a trinomial using the slide and divide method. So to use the slide and divide method, we're going to look at the a, b, and c value. So don't forget a x squared plus b x plus c is our standard form for a trinomial. Okay, so we're going to slide, we're going to take this 3 in the front, the a value, and we're going to multiply it by the c value. We're going to slide it over there. So the x squared stays, the 11x also stays, but we're going to multiply the 3, the a value, times negative 4, the c value, to get negative 12. From here, we are going to create two binomials. We know to get an x squared, we need an x times another x. Now, what two numbers are going to go inside of those binomials? We know that they need a multiply to give us the c value, negative 12. So what we're going to do is create a table of factors. What is going to multiply to give us negative 12? And keep in mind that these two factors need to add up to give us a positive 11. So multiplying to give us negative 12. It could be negative 3 times 4 or negative 4 times 3. Because remember, a negative times a positive gives us a negative 12. Well, none of those add up to 11x, the middle term. So let's try something else. Negative 6 times 2, or negative 2 times positive 6. Those also do not add up to 11x. So the only other things that multiply to give us 12 are negative 1 times 12, or negative 12 times 1. Now keep in mind, we do want a positive 11x. So negative 1 and positive 12 are going to be our two numbers. So let's put them in the binomial. So x, and we said negative 1, so minus 1. And our other factor is 12, a positive 12. So we've done the slide part of the slide and divide method. Let's do the dividing portion. So that a value right here, 3, we're going to divide each of our terms by that 3. For some of them, it's really easy. 12 divided by 3 is exactly 4. But 3 cannot divide into 1, because that would be a fraction, 1 third. So the 3 moves right here in front of the x. So instead of x, it is now 3x, and it's going to stay minus 1. And that is the factored form. So we have factored our trinomial into a product of two binomials, and you can always check your answer using the box method. If you have any questions about using the slide and divide method, check in with us later.